Hello everyone, this is not a review, it is just me looking at a thing and talking about it. This is the Gundam Starter Set Volume 2. Comes with a very specific and special version of high grade RX-78-2, or the original Gundam, affectionately known as Grandpa, uh, with a Gundam marker as well. Now, I barely used a Gundam marker of this type with this set, but it is a very nice one for folks just starting out with extra detailing because it, first of all, it's gray, so it's a little bit subtle and has a very, very fine tip, which is very, very easy to use. They also include in this set a, a nice little booklet that gives you tips for getting into the world of detailing Gundams and not just assembling them straight up. This does include the Hyper Bazooka, and I do have a little bit of ink on my hands from rapid... Uh, <laughs> rapid inking and panel lining, so please forgive that. But yes, this is included. Did no detailing on this myself. And the all important rare Gundam Hammer. Only seen, I think a couple times ever in, in actual Gundam media, or at least animated Gundam media. And this has a real metal chain on it, which is super fancy. So it's not a plastic thing. It's like actual, actual metal. You do not have to assemble the uh the chain itself you don't have to put the links together thankfully but i personally got this set for this 30th anniversary edition or ver g 30th version of rx 78-2 which is leaning back just a little bit right now it's not quite the right pose got it uh, because it has all of the extra panel lines available on it that are molded into the surface so i did panel line this I did a relatively quick job with it. You see, it's not the most clean job, but you know everything looks worse when you look at it up close on camera in super high resolution, which is significantly higher than, unless unless you're looking at it on, on mobile, it's gonna be significantly higher than what you see in real life. I also have not yet panelized the back of the shield, which is something that I normally do, but this has a very specific purpose to exist in my collection. I wanna show you what this looks like next to my first aid. HG, which I've previously covered on this channel when I, when I was much more of a noob than I even am now. I consider myself to be a Gundam amateur now. <laughs> I was definitely a noob when I put this together. But look at the difference between these two. It's, this, it's the same scale. It's the same grade. It's the same mech, but they look quite different as soon as you start looking at the detail. There's just so much more surface level detail in this. And again, you do need to panel line this uh, with something more than just this generally unless you're going to use this and then an eraser and a lot of an eraser if you want to get this look but even without doing the panel lining the detail is there on on the surface with this one and that's specifically why i ended up getting this one and it's going to replace the revive version over here uh, in a specific lineup for educational purposes which I don't need to get into right now. It's something that's coming up and it'll be explained later. There's one thing that's definitely not as good about this version, this 15 year old version over here as this newer version. This one has double jointed elbows and knees, which means you get more articulation in total. It doesn't make a huge difference, but it does make some if you're looking at these more for uh, a little bit more active play and a lot of, of posing. Um, but overall, the build experience for this, given the level of surface detail, was pretty simple. It felt like a regular HG. It is a very expensive kit for an uh, for a simple HG. It was, I believe, thirty dollars US or thereabouts. Again, does include the metal chain and does include the marker and you know has a, a bigger box. It's kind of it's kind of equivalent to a full weapon set version of this plus just a little bit i think it's a little bit overpriced personally for what you get but i'm ultimately still happy with what i got since i did put in a little bit of extra work with markers and you can see i even did a little bit of marking on the inside of here you might get a little a little glint down uh, in the uh, in the ankles on on the front there it did a little bit of silver as well as some gold and just generally speaking, I'm happy with this because this really bridges the gap between an EG and an RG. I did build the RG, you'll be seeing that on the channel eventually. But the RG just has so much surface level detail plus a full set of stickers. This has only three stickers. So the, 
the eyes and then the cameras for the front and back, which are nicely cut out from a you know, pre die cut from a foil uh, back sticker base. So they have a nice amount of shine in them and everything. I'm just generally speaking, happy with this thing. And it's just all about that surface level detail. If you're going to put in a little bit of extra work to, to pull it out and I'm, I'm happy with it. So that's, that's about it. Also, you know, some folks are really into the Gundam hammer. I personally am not, don't care about it that much, but it's definitely a nice thing to have available at this scale at all. Thank you very much for watching. I will keep bringing you more of these little videos and talk to you again soon. Bye for now.